Elijah, one, you're back excited. No, you be in these streets with them white toes. Michael, that beard is soft. Lindsay is on. Uh, Jasmine is doing some more yoga. Mark too passive. Lindsay, we see the growth. We appreciate you. Love Look at Jasmine and Katina. Watch Lindsay work. Marilla, do you see what Jasmine is doing? This is not LDE, guys. Word, Katina. I love that. Clean your belly buttons. I'm gonna go do aerial yoga. This is not going according to plan. Oh, she's <laughs> wallet. Him and his two. These two are so odd. Damn, this is deep. This woman don't like you. Talk your sh Sir, what did you think the collar was for? Doing it, but it's supposed to stand up. That's what they say, I don't know. What up, y'all, and welcome back to From Rizzo with Love with me, your girl Rizzo, as we recap Married at First Sight's season 14, episode 10, part two with me, your girl Rizzo. I know these emotions that I have are still here because I literally just finished watching part one and I'm still so frustrated. Why am I feeling like this? Why y'all making me feel like this? I'm supposed to feel love at this point and y'all are bringing me the down. Build me up, please. Goodness. Guys, if this is your first time here, I'm usually not a negative Nancy like I am right now, but I'm so frustrated for these couples, especially the black couples. I really want to see that New Orleans black love that we used to see. I want to see the Brianna and Vinny. I want to see the Jeff Dean John and uh, Shawnees. I said Johnny's Sis, I hear you. I need to see all of this and I'm not getting it. And it's making me so frustrated, y'all. Somebody help me through this. Hold my hands. Thank you. All right, guys, let's get to this because this episode better end on some joy because right now I'm feeling down. So let's get to it. Catnip is literally cat weed. Sativa though. That's what they say. I don't know. This is Lindsay. This is when she peaks, y'all. This is her high. Talking about sex purposefully on camera with a woman? Nah. Watch Lindsay work. It wasn't bad for the first time. Really oh my goodness. So Thank you. Then. So she's being rude. Dr. Viviana calls her out and now she's getting emotional. I'm not sure Mark trusts me. Do Let I Mark answer. Was Lindsay actually saying, oh, you know, we were intimate. It wasn't very satisfying. I thought he would be able to handle someone like me. Does she mean in the bedroom or just like in life in general? Like she keeps embarrassing this man on camera too. Lindsay tries to get to you before you can get to her because Lord knows folks got a lot to say about her. But she gonna cry so, you know, you can't do that. She is doing all of this right now to say, look, I did this on my own without being prompted by you and without help. Katina, we see you putting in the effort. Movie night. Katina, we love this. You listen, you're thoughtful, and you can be a wife. Elijah Wong, you're back excited. Do you have faith in her? Because I feel like every time we see you, every other time, you don't have faith in her. You don't think that she can be the wife that you want her to be. Do you have faith in her? Good job, Elijah Wong. Even in this moment, he gave her a compliment. We love that. She gives him this little baby gun. Also, she's in the closet right away. This is not going according to plan. They're gonna kill these cats. Lindsay is wildin'. Mark hates that he's being gagged, especially on camera. She's wildin'. She's finding too much joy in it. Mark said, this is turning me on. This is scaring me. That cat is us. He's like, <laughs> Lindsay is odd. The silent treatment. These two are so odd. Help your partner try on the candy uh, G-stream. That is for men. I think Lindsay was just faking like she was having fun in that moment. She really wasn't. That seemed like fake laugh. And Mark was like, please get me out of here. They doing ice hockey because it's Boston. I want to go do aerial yoga. Who's done aerial yoga? Come do aerial yoga with me or not. Michael say, if we can both get out of this activity without hurting each other. And Jasmine goes, I can't make no promises. <laughs> All right, man. What size is it? Uh, 13. We can get, both can get out of the activity without getting injured. All right, man. What size is it? Uh, 13. Okay. So this is not LDE, guys. This is not LDE. I will bust my ass in. Here's Lindsay again telling us what she's done. She's done yoga and she's done aerial. Ariel is a word. You've done Ariel what? <laughs> no, you be in these streets with them white toes? So <laughs> Look at Jasmine and Katina. Good job, Lindsay. She, they asked her about Katina and she was like, we're doing good right now. I don't even want to talk about it. Lindsay, we see the growth. We appreciate you. Look, look at poor Mike. Poor Mike is struggling, but Elijah was actually holding his own here. What waiver did they have to sign to do this? Katina said, guys, they never think. <laughs> But that's interesting that Jasmina says she's missing the chase and she asks the ladies if they're missing the chase. It's almost like she wants to continue to date. Mike, are you too comfortable with her? Are you not dating her enough? Are you not wanting to get to know her enough? Maybe that's what Jasmina needs. Word, Katina. There's nothing I miss about dating. 
It's interesting that Lindsay said the type of men that approach her, and I'm assuming date her, are big fish because she has such a big personality. The other partner, the guy, has to be very strong in what it is that he is doing and managing her in that relationship. She needs a more dominant person despite her being very, very dominant. Mark too passive. Okay, so Mark and Lindsay are having sex again. Uh, is anyone writing this down? Lindsay shows love through acts, like acts of service, like doing things for people. And he needs like more than that, <laughs> like communication, which I, it's not a love language. It should be just regular. Look at our boy Mike asking. So, you know, have you ever been in a one or zero? Just asking for a friend. You rate your marriage a seven, Michael? This woman don't like you. You, you are you delusional? A seven? I'm gonna give you a three. I think that's a good question. I don't know why Jasmina and Katina looked at each other. What number do you need to be at to say yes on decision day? It doesn't necessarily have to be a 10, but like, where do you need to be? I love that. I love that perspective that Lindsay has. We didn't lose three weeks or a month. In those three weeks, I got to know you more. Even though our communication was bad, now I know how you communicate. I got to know you better. You got to know me better. Even through the conflict, that is something that we picked up and we learned about each other. And then Jasmina comes shutting it down. No, I better stop playing and grow up, okay? She making us a little too giggly. I like these little fantasies. Noisy ones like a rooftop. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Steve said, I really enjoy helping people fulfill their fantasies. Talk your shit. I was just gonna say, you ever burn paper inside? That is not okay. What y'all gonna do after? That's how you start fires. Where y'all throwing it? Don't, don't do that. Look at this like nighttimey filter. I enjoy, I might do this the whole time. Yo, Lindsay, what I will say, every time we see Lindsay, she has new nails. And I respect that. You must, you get your nails done once a week? We've seen at least five different Lindsay nails. That's, I might be exaggerating, whatever. Jasmine doing some more yoga? Yo, producers, who lost the bet that y'all have to do tantric yoga every single season? <laughs> who lost the bet? I feel like this is the most intimate Michael and Jasmine have ever been, but, have we ever seen this work for anyone? Clara and Ryan, who else did this? Was it Henry and Shorty? I don't remember. Mirla, do you see what Jasmina is doing? She's not putting those joints on her eyes because of her lashes, likely. And she's still participating. Oh, <clears throat> damn, this is deep. Jasmina says she's not being vulnerable because she doesn't think that Michael cares for the marriage or her. I'm proud of Jasmina for not rolling her eyes right here when he talks about not it's trusting not her. Jasmina just said nothing is completely your fault. She Taking some accountability here? Oh, she's <laughs> walling. Just made a joke too much. There's gotta be a voice changer, but visually this works because my hair is bad. I don't like how white these teeth are in comparison to mine. Get this out of here. Michael, that beard. Ooh, I forgot this filter. Michael, that beard is soft. Good for you. What'd you put in that? Get these eyelashes. There's little moments where Jasmina gives him little winks like, I like it. And you can see that Michael likes that she likes it. Like when he was like, oh, you're going to train me? And he thought that was cute because she's playing it to him. Then she, then she was like, oh, yeah, I like your arms. And he was like, leaned in for her to grab on him. And here he's like, oh, I don't want you to touch my beard. But here you go. Mike, it's, it's doing it what it's supposed to do. Jasmina and Mike are both super silly and they like that about each other. I need Mike to loosen up a little bit, but he makes jokes too. It's just in a different way than Jasmina, but they both corny. Cute corny though, oh, we like it. Damn, Jasmina still ain't feel this spark. Elijah is so excited for this little basket. Sir, what did you think the collar was for? I've literally seen that in person in New Orleans. This guy, or was it a woman, had her guy, no, it was a guy, cause he had his two women on leashes and they were walking around like they were dogs. Right near this park, you know, families were around and I was just like, you just want attention. You do it outside because you want attention. Somebody didn't hug you enough. Or maybe somebody hugged you too much. Ooh, I need those under eye bag joints. Never had anybody massage my stomach. Is that because I have a stomach and I, you know how women, we don't like people to touch our stomach, but if I was as skinny as Katina, maybe it'd be okay. Like, can you massage my back instead? Him and his tutus. Not you lucky I took a shower. Clean your belly buttons. This is my seasonal announcement. Don't forget to clean your belly button today, okay? Please, thank you. Also, she used to work in the nightclubs. This ain't her first time taking a shot off of somebody's stomach. All right, guys, this was a cute little episode. I don't know where to take all these people. Actually, the first half wasn't that great. The second half was a lot better. I feel like we got to know the couples a little more. They did their little intimacy moments. I really like that Noy and Steve opened up 
in two ways. Jasmine and Michael, I just, I'm trying to forget this moment, please. Okay, Elijah and Katina, is it real? Is this genuine? Are both of y'all actually in it? Katina, I know you all the way in it. Are you just trying to bend for this man? Mark, somebody save Mark. How do we go in? Is there a life jacket that we can throw Mark the shark? I know water is where he's comfortable, but how do we get him out? Lindsay needs a lot. I, don't, I just don't know if there's a man out there for her in her current state. She got a lot of work that she has to do. It's a lot. And you know, I sat here for about 20 minutes thinking like, damn, who did I forget? Oh, there's no longer five couples. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. That was 27 episodes ago, but yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. Guys, what are we gonna do with these people? We losing Mark the Shark and Lindsay. Let's just call it what it is, okay? That's not gonna happen. Can Michael and Jasmina recover? Are Elijah Juan and Katina actually going to work out in the long run, right? Because I feel like it's just not gonna work out. In the, in the short term, yes, but in the long run, I don't, I don't think they're gonna work out long term. And then Steve and Noy are gonna be perfect. My concern with Steve and Noy was really that Noy was going to be too feisty and say some things that she didn't need to say, but she recognizes that she does that and she pulls away so she doesn't. So I'm really hopeful that they will work out now, even though Steve not having a job is a big issue for her. I think Steve needs to pull in some income, some more, like some real income, so that Noi can be more comfortable. But once that happens, smooth sailing. Fingers crossed, y'all, fingers crossed. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, if this is your first time, welcome. I hope you enjoyed it. If this is your second, your 15th, your 504th time, love you through and through. But everyone, if you are here, you are now part of this community. So glad to have you. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Come back next week as we talk about season uh, episode 11. We are more than halfway through. Super excited for it. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.